I bought this iPod mini in its original box for $11. I'm pretty sure I got a good deal. No, you don't get to see where I live. I covered up the thing. That's amazing. Look at that, guys. Gotta get a good open on this. Ooh, there we go. Apple logo. Slider out. Let's reveal the iPod. It fell out. I opened it upside down. iPod mini. I wanted the blue color. This is the exact color I wanted. Look at that. And it's in great condition, not really even scratched. This was so cheap. <laughs> Set the iPod aside for now because it should have come with some accessories, I think. How do I how do I get into this? This box is from 2004. So is this iPod. So it's probably older than a lot of you guys watching. It's only a year younger than me. We got some something wrapped up in here. This is not factory right here. This is cord and a charger. Why is there a zip tie here? Apple did not do that. What is in here? Nothing. I didn't get the manual for it. How am I going to know how to use it when it doesn't come with the manual? I need a refund immediately. Let's rid the box of this atrocity. Ah, oh, that was a sound I made. Okay, this does not exist anymore. This is back when they had the boxes like this where it was a book iPod mini iTunes included. Yeah, there should be a CD in here, but I, I didn't get the CD but the iPod itself Let's see gotta use the cable. Ooh, it's a long one plug it in Oh, let's go. It's turning on Ha! Eleven dollars plus six fifty shipping for a working iPod Mini that normally would probably cost thirty and maybe a little more because this thing had its box and people are obsessed with boxes and I, and I know I that's why I bought it. Ooh, it's already on. That was so quick. Does it have music on it? It's the clicking sound. There's no artists or songs or anything. That's a shame. Oh, it has a clock, alarm clock. Imagine using this for your alarm clock in 2023. I, I bet there's at least one person on earth that's still doing that. And if that's you, why? Oh my gosh, imagine using this thing for your to-do list. I gotta play the games, brick. I keep missing. I'm not good at this. Terrible. I'm, I'm so bad at gaming, guys. Eh. No, no. Ugh, I, I give up. Oh, it has a chip there. I just noticed. Oh, you mean this 19-year-old device isn't in perfectly mint condition? Of course, I that subscribe to my channel juice on it. Ooh, it's cleaning up nicely. Can you believe that this thing was $11? I know it's ancient and technically useless, but come on. How do you turn on the backlight? Oh, yeah, that's right. You hold down the menu key, and it turns on the backlight. You see how thick this thing is? It actually has a mechanical hard drive inside of it. They're little teeny square micro drives, and it's only four gigs. Oh, it has a scratch. Oh, is that is that actually there? Not coming off. Okay, of course, the iPod Touch is probably infinitely more useful than this thing. This has uh, 16 gigs, and this thing has, um, it doesn't, it doesn't have it, but it has four gigs. And not to mention, it literally has a spinning hard drive, and this, this has some flash storage. And I know this is a second generation iPod Touch. It's also technically useless, but yes. Okay, shuffle songs. It's not working because there's no songs. Grab the one dollar MacBook and, and put some music. The question is, will it die the instant I unplug it? And it didn't. Oh, it did. Oh man. Well, anyway, I gotta plug it in. Oh wait, didn't die. No battery power remains. Please connect iPod to power. I literally did. Let me try another cable. This is really finicky. Out, and then you go in. No, nothing's happening. Let's try our slightly more modern MacBook. And it's a jumble of crap. This is the 2010 MacBook for my last video. It's doing a thing. That has to be good, right? Oh no, I guess it's begging to be charged. Oh, it stopped. When the battery in it is like 19 years old, then, you know, probably gonna be not very good. Okay, I'm gonna leave this plugged in for like a day, and then we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully, it'll get the battery working slightly okay. Yeah, it, it appears to be turned on now, but if I unplug it, it'll just cease to live. Guys, I just noticed something. The box is smashed right there. Oh, well, gosh, I guess I'll just show it from this side on my shelf. I think it's holding its battery now. I've had this thing plugged in for an entire six day period. So of course this is an iPod mini first generation. The first iPod ever to have the click wheel in this particular design. I'm glad I was able to get this iPod. The cable it came with is actually a very high quality cable. Normally I wouldn't talk about the cable, but you're probably not able to buy quality cables like this any longer. And for me and my useless technology, it's a nice thing to have. I think the battery is even lower than it was when I said it was lower than it was. Maybe the 19 year old battery needs to be replaced. Really? Do not disconnect. That's a good sign. It knows it's connected to something. It showed up. I think that's a good sign. Ooh, I didn't know that it showed up on the on the screen like that. I'm gonna put my songs on it. We've got ourselves an iPod that actually has music and may or may not die within the next 30 minutes of being unplugged. Now that we put music on it, we're gonna have to listen to it, but not, not with that. We don't have modern technology and Bluetooth like one of these guys, so uh, what we're gonna need are some headphones. Right, like, like these. Right there. And then I gotta get it out. And what you do is you plug it in, and then you got yourself an iPod backlight on. I'm gonna listen to some real music. Like... 
Oh, no. It tells me that it's 75% better. You can't trust... Oh, it started to play for a second, and then it died. It's been plugged in for a week, so it looks like it, this 19-year-old battery isn't going to be usable. But I got you covered. Let's just replace the battery. I mean, look, they're the same shape. Now, you're wondering why I got one of these. Well, da -da -da. temporarily unplug you. This is going to be good. Okay, that's about right. But now we need to plug our battery into the iPod. Let's grab our USB-A to USB-C, USB-C to Apple Lightning, and now our Apple Lightning to Apple 30 pin. Let's debag this, which is our Apple 30 pin. Is this not gonna work? This thing might not work. Well, scratch that, this thing doesn't even work. It's not as if this was entirely practical anyway. Oh wait, this, this. Fine, I'll just do it the regular way with a cable. Insert the cable. And then we go with another rubber band and then we plug it in. Look, it's it's my iPod mini, guys. It's like one of those phones, you know? I'm not gaining any subscribers from this video, please subscribe. Let's try to use this because my iPod is at full battery. Now we can put it in. We gotta play some royalty free. Let's just go and then play Play one. Such a good song. Nah. There's a problem with the iPod. To play music to speakers like this, you need to be having an aux cable with you. And who has one of those at all times in 2023? So I have to add a feature to it. I figured out a way that I could have an aux cable at all times. As long as we got something to plug into, we can play with our iPod. I don't know why Apple didn't add such features as this. I mean, look at this biggest battery an iPod's ever had. So let's test this new feature out and see how it does. And of course, we're gonna need headphone holders too. You kind of have one built in right here. You're gonna need somewhere to put this cable when you're not using it. Say when you want to use the aux feature of your iPod. Well, I've got you covered. Tuck it under here. There you go. Now you have your built-in earbuds as well. But what if you want to listen to earbuds and aux cable at once? Well, you have to get yourself one of these. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky. Tuck one of the ends. See, so it pokes out like that. Then you do the same thing with the other end. See, now they match. And then you're going to take the leftover, wrap it around all of this, and then it goes up like that, then you're able to plug it in to your iPod. And now you're able to plug your aux into a speaker and listen to their headphones at the same time. It's looking even better than it did at the beginning, I think, right? Now the question is, how do you transport something like this around? The answer is you put it in your jar, which will act as a perfect stand. And of course, we're gonna want a way to charge the iPod at all times. So you're also gonna wanna add a micro USB cable. And if you wanna add even more battery capacity to your iPod, you just grab another battery, plug your iPod in, tuck it in the iPod case, and just like that, I have upgraded the battery capacity yet again of the iPod mini. Now, what do you guys think of this video? Was this great? Was this the best invention ever? Drop a like, subscribe to my channel or your bad, and this week the channel members get an extra video as they do every single week where I open some iPods that I bought, more iPods. There were some bootleg iPods and two real iPods that we'll be unboxing and laughing at. It'll be a great time. $1 a month, you get extra videos. And for $5 a month, of course, you get the scrolling shouted every week. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.